Mass spectrometry is an analytical technique that is especially well suited to identifying unknown organic compounds. In order for a chemical compound to be detected on a mass spectrometer, it must first be positively charged. This is done by firing electrons at the compound. Let's consider propane. When an electron is fired at this compound, it can remove an electron. When a single electron is removed from a molecule to give a positively charged ion, the ion produced is called the molecular ion. Once a molecule is positively charged, it can be accelerated through an electric field. The positive ion is attracted to the negative terminal. Once the positive ion has been accelerated, it is passed through a magnetic field. Magnetic fields deflect charged particles. The heavier the positively charged ion, the less is deflected by the magnetic field. If a detector is placed in the path of the deflected particle, it is possible to see how much the positively charged ion has been deflected, and so be able to work out its relative mass. Very often it is possible to work out the molecular mass of a compound being studied by looking at the spectrum produced. A spectrum from a mass spectrometer looks like this, where the mass divided by charge is plotted along the x-axis and the relative intensity on the y-axis. The charge of the ions is mostly 1+, plus, so the x-axis can be thought of as given the relative mass. The largest peak in the spectrum is assigned a value of 100% relative intensity. Remember, only positively charged ions are detected in the mass spectrum, so the molecular ion will have the same molecular formula as the parent compound, but it will be positively charged. The heaviest major peak in the spectrum is often the molecular ion. Sometimes you can see a small peak next to the molecular ion peak that has a molecular mass of one greater than the molecule. This is due to the fact that around 1% of carbon atoms have a relative mass of 13 instead of 12. That is, they have a heavier isotope of carbon. So most molecules will have a mass of 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 8 which will be 44. However, a small proportion of propane molecules will have a mass of 13 plus 12 plus 12 plus 8, which equals 45. That is, one greater than the molecular mass of the compound. Peaks other than the molecular ion appear in the mass spectrum because sometimes the electrons that are fired at the compound break chemical bonds. For example, with propane, the bonds may break here, giving rise to a positively charged fragment ion and a neutral radical. The radical fragment is uncharged and so will not be detected in the mass spectrometer. The positively charged fragment will be detected and will result in a peak with an M over Z value of 29. Sometimes the bond may break differently. In this case, the positively charged ion with an MOZ value of 15 will be detected, and the neutral fragment will not.